Hello everyone. There's a lot of doom and gloom out there certainly, definitely on this channel. But I wanted to bring out a little bit of positivity. And I thought that we can just have a chat. I don't often do videos where I'm face to face to the camera, but occasionally I like to do so. And this time I don't have anything particularly planned, I just wanted to have a chat with you. One of the things that I've always looked forward to was doing videos. Because I get to see the comments afterwards, the emails that come through, it's something very positive to me to know that people are reading, viewing, listening to my information. And it certainly makes me feel uplifted, even if the information can be gloomy. I want to tell you just a little bit of personal information that, you know, what do I want my future to look like? Well, I definitely do not want to be living in a big city. Right now I'm living in Toronto. Millions of people, millions of sheep, and ultimately, nobody's prepared. I'm working hard at it, it's taken me a very long time, but my goal is to be able to work for myself, to have the ability to work from anywhere in the world, to work online, being an author, YouTuber, everything else, and being able to provide for my family that way. I want to have a very simple life. I want to grow my own food. I want to be able to essentially not have to look over my shoulder for every little thing that I do. I want to be responsible for my home and everything else. When you're tied to the grid in every way, you're always relying on somebody else. I would rather be self-sufficient. I think it's so important. That's why I made it um, you know, a lot of focus in my more recent book. I want my future to look bright, even when the situation is gloomy. I don't want to have to worry about every little thing. I want to have my own water supply, my own energy supply, and everything else. And, you know, I'm in the rat race just like everybody else. It's tough. It's really tough. I mean, I work, I'm, you know, about an hour past when the time I should be sleeping right now. Just doing videos. Right now I'm just talking. Because I have to get this off my chest. I have to get these, this knowledge, this information, this, this ability to connect. I'm trying to reason with myself essentially that you know, what's going to come of all this? There is a collapse going on. Walk around the streets of downtown Toronto and you see a homeless person, at least one, on every single corner. It's getting really bad. Yet at the same time, you have housing prices which are increasing so rapidly. Somebody's making money. But the majority aren't. That's a fact. Anyway. I want to have the simple things in life. I want a big piece of land. I want crops. I want fruit growing on trees. I want to see sunshine. I want clean air. I want good health. 
So if you ask me, you know, what, what my list of things that I want in this life, that's really, that's my list. I mean, driving a Ferrari around, it's, you know, if you want that, sure, by all means, please. But it's really not a desire of mine. I just want the simple things in life. I'd like to know what you want. I know a lot of people is simply are getting prepared. They want their own food supply. They have a lot of similar goals to myself. Many people are further ahead and that's great. That's great news, especially when you know the situation, you know what's happening, how it's on unfolding and you don't want to be a part of this all. I mean, it's a disaster out there. So I see what people are doing and I think it's very smart. And I respect all of you that get out of the big cities, they go into the outskirts or maybe they just go way out into the rural areas. Either way, it's great. I think it's a good thing. Anyway, I just want to share my, my personal opinion. I don't normally do these rants like this, you know. And I just wanted to share some information. So anyway, I hope you appreciate that. And that's all. Take care.